One thing I love to do when you're imaginary is that you're a pirate and you're going on a treasure hunt. So you can get your hook out and your pirate face and let's go on a treasure hunt. Things are looking up with a B, with a B. treasure. Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, what's a good and clever spot? We have a new two now. Hmm. Whoa, this lucky coin was hidden very, very well. Hmm. Oh, look, there's one right here. Whoa. You should hurry up and get off. Now we have four lucky coins. Is there any more else? Oh, in the pool! <laughs> oh, look it, now we have five! Okay. Hmm. Where's another lucky place to look? Oh, look it! We found another lucky coin. <gasps> Ooh, another lucky coin. Oh look, another lucky coin. Hmm, do you guys see anything? <gasps> Thanks for helping me find this one too. Hmm, let's see. Oh look it, it looks like there's another coin. Hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm, where should we also look? Whoa, oh. It looks like we found another one. Hmm. This one was a very sneaky, sneaky one. Oh, it looks like our close. Up ahead, I see an X. Whoa, not this again. Oh, we found another gold treasure. Ah. We can't let someone steal this. An X marks the spot, my favorite thing. Let's use this to dig the X. Yes! Treasure! Treasure! Now we can take all these cool coins. Man, thanks so much for helping me find all these golden coins today on our scavenger hunt. Have you ever been on an airplane? You can see so much cool things. Hmm, I have an idea. How about let's put our arms out and pretend we're airplanes and see what cool things we can find around the park. Whoa, it looks like there's some trampolines. Ooh, these look super bouncy. Ooh. Now it's like we're jumping like airplanes. Look at this super cool swing. Let's try it like we're swinging on an airplane. Whoa, that was super fun. Whoa, let's see what these stairs lead to. Whoa, look at these slides. They're so big. We can pretend like we're going on a drop off like an airplane. This looks like a ninja course. Some trampolines. This is so fun. 
Ben. We're coming in the land in three, two, one. Uppy, Uppy, Mama Cat has lost her kittens. Can you guys help us find Mama Cat's kittens? This sounds like a job for Super Uppy. It's okay, Mama Kitten, we'll find your kittens. This is a job for superheroes, let's go. Huh, where are they? Man, Uppy, we've been searching for so long. Where are those baby kittens? Hmm, do you think they climbed up something? idea. Cats love to climb things. Whoa, it looks like the volcano's over here. Let's see if any cats are up here. Do you guys see any? Let's climb up the volcano to see if there's any up top. Ugh. Oh man, there's no cats down here, but I really want to try this really cool slide. Whoa, I think that's one of the cats trying to climb up the slide. Oh, Thank you guys so much for helping me find this cat. So we know that cats, kittens and cats love to climb tall things. Oh look, the rock walls. They're tall. Well, let's put on a harness and see if we can find any cats over here. I started at this one because there's so much stuff that a cat could climb on. Let's see if we can find the cat. I think I see something up there. <gasps> Look it, we found the second cat. It was up here. So now, we can go. So now we have two of the three cats. So now we have one more. Hmm, we can climb up those stairs because this is a pretty tall slide. In the last, in the first cat we found, it was climbing up a slide. So let's see if it's over here. Oh, I think I see another gray kitten. Is this your guys' sister or brother? Thank you guys so much for finding all three of the mama's kittens. So now they're all gonna be happy to see their mom. Let's go to Uppy now. Uppy, 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 I found the three kittens. Are these your kittens? Thank you, superheroes, so much for helping us find the mama's kittens. I'm trying to read here about plants, Uppy. We can play later. Fine. This book is about nature, how flowers grow, how plants grow, about the trees. It's a really good book. You should read it sometime. Hey, Uppy, you want to go find some of the pictures of me going camping in the nature? Come on, let's go. Hey, Uppy fans. Have you guys noticed that I'm in a jungle? Today I'm gonna try to find some animals out here in the nature. So I have my camera and my binoculars. Let's see if there's anything we can find. Hmm. Oh, it looks like there's a bird right there. Let's take a picture. Perfect. Hmm. Ooh, a monkey swinging. Ooh, it looks like there's a toucan. So cool. You guys know this, now I'm in a desert? Man, it's super hot here, and I forgot to bring some water. Do you guys see any water? Oh, there it is. You guys wanna go see that lake up ahead? Man, before we go there, let's see if we can find anything cool to take pictures of. Oh, looks like there's some cactus. A small 
tree. And there's probably no animals because how hot it is. Whoa, now I'm in a mountain with a lake. Man, this lake looks super cool. Oh, look it. I think I see a bald eagle. Perfect. Oh, some fish in there. Hmm, what else can I find? Oh, look at those birds flying over there. Perfect. These are some really cool pictures. Whoa, it looks like we're at a beach. My favorite part about the beach is I can make sand castles and swim. Let's see if we can find anything. Oh, look at that guy surfing. That's really cool. Ooh, this sand castle looks cool. Mm. Oh, there's, I think there's about to be a turtle in the sea. Perfect. Man, I can't wait to look at these pictures someday. Oh man, it's kind of chilly here. Let's see if there's any animals we can snap pictures of. Oh, look at that polar bear. It has some babies over there. Oh, that's so cute. Hmm. Oh, a penguin. Oh, right there, there's a seal over there. These are so cool. Man, I like this place, but it is super chilly. <laughs> Abby, what are you doing? I'm trying to read a book. We can play later, it's fine. Happy, fine. How about you read my book? I made it and it's a pretty good story. Here, let's read. Once upon a time. Good morning, class. Well, good morning, Uppy. What did you do today? That sounds super fun. So, um, welcome to class. Today we're gonna learn how to spell our name. So, you probably don't even know, so I'm gonna help you out, Uppy. Push these back just in case if they ruin up. Okay, so now, can you grab your marker here? Okay, Uppy. Draw your Uppy. <laughs> That's just a whole bunch of scribble scrabbles. Ugh. Thing is, your name's Uppy, so it has how many letters do you have in it? You're right, five. So it's U, P, P, I, E. So now try that again. U, P, Good job, Uppy. High five. This is how I spell my name, Sophia. I start with an S, then an O. Lots of people think it's an F, but I do P, H, I, A. Sophia. Uppy did so well do spelling his name. Do you guys know how to spell your name? It's pretty easy. You just ask a parent or your sibling to write it down and then you try to practice it. And then that's how Uppy learned to write his name. The end. Did you like the story I made about you, Uppy? Ooh. Hey Uppy, I'm as tall as you now. One thing we can do is imagine that we're super tall, we're tiny, or if we're giant. So it's super fun to do that. Come on, Uppy, we should go imagine. Whoa, this is hard to walk. I can see all the little tiny buildings and all the tiny people. The buildings are like this tall. Whoa, I wonder if I jump, I can make a loud noise. 
Whoa. Whoa. It looks like we're in the desert. I go here all the time, and I'm normally super small, and it's giant, but it's like up to my ankles. Like, look at how small this desert is. Oh, so you guys all know Mount Everest is the coldest place, and it has the biggest mountain. So this is why I'm wearing this blanket. Man, Mount Everest is giant, but right now, it looks like one foot tall. Man, even though it's one foot tall, it doesn't mean it can be cold here. Whoa, it looks like we're in a cold jungle, or some people call them rainforest. You can see all of those giant branches on the ground. There's moss, trees that are bigger than me. There's even baby trees growing and plants everywhere. It's crazy. Since we already went to a whole bunch of places where it's small and I'm giant, how about let's shrink t smaller and go to some places bigger? Come on, let's go. Wow. I used to be big and then I was on grass and it's so much different. This grass is almost taller than me. It's getting me itchy because all these bugs are in here. Whoa. I never seen the world this big. It's crazy. I'm super small and it's so fun to jump on a giant bed like this. This is so fun. Whoa, I'm even smaller now. It looks like I'm in a microscope. You guys can see all the things they were looking at. Lots of scientists use these to look at chemicals, lots of things that you could look at. Thanks so much for helping me discover the whole entire world being big towns, small towns, me being big, me being small, and I'm kind of getting a bit tired of being all these different sizes. I'm going to go grow back to my real height. Bye!